We are so far behind, it's not, it's not even funny. It is literally Valentine's Day today and we are gonna travel all the way back to Thanksgiving. And then also we got another dog. We got a little puppy, an English bulldog. And now we have so many extra things we're just tossing in here just to get caught up with random things I had filmed. So, so it's a little bit of everything, a grab bag vlog here. <laughs> Christian! Look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? What does it smell like? Our power has been out for a few hours. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a lantern. Yeah. So we got by ourselves yeah. with no children. Great mercy. Oh, I keep saying the wrong kids. Mercy is left in the hands of other people for the first time ever. Nephew, no spice, okay? You okay, babe? What did they do? The nurse hurt me. The nurse hurt you? But it's all over, huh? It's right. Love you. What song do you want to listen to? With mommy, up, mom. What? What song? With mommy, up. Feliz Navidad. Yes. <laughs> That's what it, it feels like. <laughs> We've done home church in three different houses. We've done three different houses and we've done it in a hotel. Oh my gosh, four different places. Yeah. We're in Sunnyvale, Arizona. Sunday school. 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 We're still zooming it. We're still at, at home church here in New York. And then there was a big storm. And we woke up Jesus and then Jesus stopped it with his hand. Get your hands off your butt cheeks. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and then bad guys. Um, but How does Santa go down the what? Jimmy, unless he can't fit in. What do you think it's called? Jimmy. Jiminy. Jiminy? Yeah. So how Santa's gonna do it? Unless it's called a chimney. Chimney. <laughs> how, how are you gonna fit in there? Does he unsuck his belly like a grandpa? What did you just say? Well, what do we say to Dad? No, say job well done. What do you think? No. What do you think? What's that? Wow. You want to 
to touch it? Cool. We just need to put the candles in the, the windows. Cool. Wow. Stay here. Good spot, Christian? Yes. Feel good about it? Yes, Christmas. Oh, Christmas. We have over a month. Thanksgiving. Daddy called this a belly button. Ew, what? <laughs> Let me see. The belly button ornament. Ew, I hate that. <laughs> Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. lemons we are actually Ben always cooks a turkey every year but we're actually cooking a full meal for other people to eat today what are you thankful for Christian the food food that's a good one I'm thankful for eat turkey and I'm thankful for my dad and I'm thankful for Spongebob I'm thankful for my dad too. Thanksgiving! Watching the parade to see what it's gonna be like with the corona. Happy Thanksgiving, mommy! Happy Thanksgiving, baby! Wow! That's pretty cool. We did a Gordon Ramsay, and by we I mean I had nothing to do with this. Look what you made, Gatsby. <laughs> Look. What eating. Look. Look. I'm gonna make my teeth fall out. What? What? I actually make them disappear. Let's see. Eyes. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Why are you sitting in here all by yourself? Oh, could it be the turkey that has a giant knife? Oh, it is. It's the turkey. What? What? Who are you talking to? Oh, Papa. <laughs> this is social distancing. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, let me see, Gracie. Oh my goodness. Oh. Gracie, what is in your lap? A dog. A dog? Where are you going with that? Puppy? Who is that? Is that Mercy? Are we getting a dog? What should we name the dog? What do you think? Should we name it Pippa? Look! Look! What do you see? Are they here? What's this? What's this? <laughs> Here they are! Catch me, you have no idea what's about to happen. What are you eating? No, 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 no. You ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my goodness! 
say, no, no, no. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> what? I will start the music. Hello. I would have pulled Joseph out. Out of that pit. Out of that prison. Out of that pain. I would have cheated nations out of the one God would use to deliver them from famine. I would have pulled David out. Out of Saul's spear-throwing presence. Out of the caves he hid away in. Out of the pain of rejection. 
I would have cheated Israel out of a God-hearted king. I would have pulled Esther out, out of being snatched from her only family, out of being placed in a position she never asked for, out of a path of a vicious, power-hungry foe. I would have cheated a people out of the woman God would use to save their very lives. I would have pulled Jesus off off the cross, off the road that led to suffering and pain, off of the path that would mean nakedness and and, and beatings, nails and thorns. I would have cheated the entire world out of a savior, out of salvation, out of an eternity filled with no more suffering and no more pain. Oh friend, I want to pull you out. I want to change your path. I want to stop your pain, but right now I know I would be wrong. I would be out of line. I would be cheating you and cheating the world out of so much good because God knows. He knows the the beauty this hardship will grow. He's watching over you. He's keeping you even in the midst of this. He's promising you that you can trust him even when it all feels more than you can bear. So instead of trying to pull you out, I'm lifting you up. I'm kneeling before the Father and I'm asking Him to give you strength, to give you hope. I'm asking Him to protect you, to move you when the time is right. I am asking Him to help you stay prayerful and discerning. I'm asking Him how I can best love you and to best help you. I'm believing He's going to use your life in a powerful and beautiful way. Ways that will leave your heart grateful and humbly thankful for the road you've been on.